Hey everybody, it's Mike Aka, that reseller guy. Today is Thursday, the 14th of April, and I'm coming to you with this video. Uh, one thing that I check out all the times at thrift stores is that wall, that big wall of all the hanging bags, whether it be toys, household goods, uh, health and beauty, office and kitchen stuff. I always love checking through those bags. So there's a lot of times that the people in the back rooms just stuff items in those bags. They don't even know what it is half the time. So you definitely got to look pretty close to see what's inside those. And yesterday I had a pretty good score on one of those. I want to show that to you, plus some eBay sales. So let's get going. All right, we're going to hit the eBay sales first. You got to hang around to find out what I'm talking about with those hanging bags, the good find that I had, and just talk about that a little more. Uh, sales we're going to do kind of quickly. First off, Plymouth license plate. Been selling quite a few of these recently. Sales have been going pretty good. This sells for $15.99 plus shipping. And how do I ship these? Because they are fairly flimsy. Even though they're metal, they can bend. I've had a couple bend in the mail when I just put them into a rigid mailer. So I've been using these here. You can just use a couple pieces of cardboard. That would work. Just tape it up. But I had a bunch of these that I bought a while back. These are Gemini 2 comic mailers. And they work really good. They're, they're obviously made for comic books. But when you fold them all up, the license plate fits in here just perfect and you fold it around there. If, you're, if you have some of these or you buy some of them, I think there's a link down below. Uh, I also did a video on how to fold them properly because it's a little confusing when you get them. It took me a while. I had to watch a video to learn how to fold these things right. Now I can do them in like two seconds, but it did take a while at first. So uh, first item, Plymouth license plate. Yeah, I said we're going to do things fast. That wasn't too fast. Uh, the next item here. These are from Stratomatic Baseball Game. These are Detroit Tigers cards or player cards. Uh, a lot of 19 of them. These have been my store for eons. Uh, so yeah, for the game, you just have your players and you play Stratomatic. You roll dice and you play the baseball game. Uh, I had a ton of these. I had uh, probably 20 or 30 different teams a while back. Have like two left. And if someone wanted the Tigers one, they offered me like half of what I was asking. I think I was asking 10 bucks plus shipping. They offered five plus shipping. I went ahead and took it. At this point, it hadn't sold, so I'm happy to get anything out of it. The, the next three sales are all part of my big game and model uh, collection. You see I got games stacked up here. I've been listing two of these war games per day. I've got all the models listed, so now I've been working on the, the war games. So along with my other inventory that's been coming in, I've been trying to do two games a day, and it's been working out pretty good. Today, we sold three of them. So the first one up, we have Panzer Blitz. And these are all bookshelf style games. So it opens up like this. So it's like a book slip cover. And then you got the game here. Panzer Blitz is pretty good. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is an old Avalon Hill. And it even says bookcase game. That's what the side looks like in case you're curious. They made several different Panzer games. And they're all pretty good. Around that same price range. This one here, the pieces were all punched. So they were all used. The game had been played before. But it was complete. So it got $34.99 for that one. Uh, the next one in the same theme of everything, although this one's made by Conflict Games, not as big of a name as uh, Avalon Hill. And there's also Victory Games that make some. I got a couple of those listed up there. This one is called Verdun. It's also, I believe, another German game. A World War One, though, this one is here. It's not a bookshelf game. This one just opens up. The box is like the exact same size, but it just opens up like a regular game. This one here was partially unpunched, which means only a few of the pieces were taken off of the, the card that they come on. So it had a little more value, sold for $39.99 plus shipping. If all the pieces were punched off of it, you probably would have taken $10 off the price. But because it was a little newer, unused, unpunched, keyword unpunched, got an extra $10 on that one. Uh, the next game, this is another big one, but this one is Avalon Hill. They made a lot of games in this same style box. Those are actually stacked up on the back side. I showed you those the other day in my video in case you happen to watch it. Also put it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, that reseller guy. Uh, so yeah, this is just another war game. This is what these boxes look like. They always have these blue boxes underneath. Inside is all the pieces and everything. Uh, this one was punched, meaning it was used, played, used game. Uh, sold for $24.99 plus shipping. This style of game, a lot of them aren't worth a whole lot. In that $20 to probably $40 tops, if you have one that's unpunched, you can get a little bit more. So just today, we had a $25, a $35, and a $40 sale from that purchase. So $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90. That's $100 in games from that purchase. So it's going really good. 
uh, and I think at this point I'm I paid fifteen hundred dollars for everything, and I think at this point I've gotten back that fifteen. I'd have to look at my spreadsheet. Do I still have it open? Let me see. I don't still have it open. So I'm right around that fifteen hundred dollars in total sales. I think just slightly over that now. Now the next sale is going to take you into what I was talking about with these hanging bags at Goodwill. Let me get back to my other screen because I clicked off of it. So yeah, I went into one of the Goodwill stores. One of the ones that I did in my worst stores in Arizona video, it just it goes to show even though stores are bad overall, every once in a while you're going to have good finds from them. I think I said that when I did that video. Uh, you got to continue to go through the stores, go to the stores that you think are bad because every once in a while those finds are there. So this was actually in a hanging bag. It was really weird. So it was like this. This box was full. It was full of all the stuff over here that I'll show you in a second. But yeah, so it was in a hanging bag and the bag was actually torn open. So someone kind of looked through a little bit. I don't know if they took anything out of it, but there was a hole in the side of the bag where someone looked through. Uh, I went and saw, I flipped it around. I saw this in Chaos Space Marine Squad and I knew that was Warhammer. Warhammer stuff is fantastic. It sells great. There's a ton of demand out there for it. This set ended up being brand new inside. It was unused. Uh, sold quickly. I listed it yesterday. I found it yesterday, listed it yesterday, and it sold yesterday. I love sales like that. $49.99 plus shipping. The hanging bag was $7.49. So yeah, I got $50 plus all the other stuff that was in there. Now the other stuff, it was all loose pieces in here. This box was dusty. It was dirty. So I took all the pieces out, did some sorting, and I couldn't figure out exactly what a few of them were. So there's a group on Facebook that I use to identify game parts uh, I forget what it's called, but there's a bunch of them. So you can go in there, you can post pictures. People are great on there and they will respond and put, hey, this is this figure. This is a dreadnought. This one's called this tank. So very fastly, I got some responses on that. Let me show you what I got from there. I decided I'd run all these other lots because they're loose figures as auctions and they've been going really well so far. I think I listed six auctions. Let me go back to my screen. I have to keep flipping back. You know, I'm always unprepared like this. My screen loads very slowly. I have an old computer, I need a new one. So let me go to auctions. I'll click on that six auctions running current and I'll throw a pop-up on the screen as well. Uh, six auctions all have bids, some of them multiple bids, as many as 13. Uh, I'm already at $57 on these other items as well. So let me show you them in order of good to worse. Uh, the first up is this tank. Now you see it's got a black base with this on there and I think that means that they probably spray painted this base black before they do painting because people customize these tanks. I will actually find a couple pop-ups and put them on the screen. People that are really good at it, they will paint these items and they will sell them for two, three, four hundred dollars for a custom painted tank or figure. Yeah, it's kind of crazy out there. Right now, there's 44 views on this, five watchers, 13 bids, and it's already at $20.50, I believe is the current price just for that one tank. There's also another figure. We got this figure here. It's kind of bigger. Again, this one they spray painted black, or I don't believe they came black. I believe they always came gray and then people uh, primed them like this in black. This one here is actually the cheapest. I just grabbed it because it was the other loose one. It is at $1.25 so far. Now I expect that to go higher, hopefully a lot higher, but uh, we have, actually that one's had like the most views, 63 views on this one, nine watchers. And it's only been a day that I've listed these. So nine watchers on that guy. He is a dreadnought hell brute is what he's called. Yeah, I got this information from other people. I would have never found it on my own. All right, these two I put together. Uh, they were kind of like the ones that I knew the least about. Uh, one's called the Chaos Lord and the other is some sort of gun team where you got two guys together. It's already at four bucks. Again, these are the one day. I ran them as five day auctions. I expect these prices to go higher. And then once the auctions end, which will be, I started them on Wednesday. Here, we're going to do the math ahead. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So they will end Monday night. So it won't be till later next week that I tell you more about them. And here are the last three lots. These are all different uh, army lots. We got uh, three of them out there. One's at 13, one's at 10, one's at 550 so far. So hopefully by the end of all these auctions, They'll go well over $100 combined for everything. That's that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, so yeah, it's just one of those random finds from a hanging bag at a Goodwill. And it was hanging with like the kitchen items of all things. Uh, so yeah, you definitely got to search through those. All right, now since I got a little bit more time on this video, I haven't taken up too much of your time today. Heck, the timer's not even at 10 minutes right now. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the items I'm taking out to my collectibles booth here. I don't know if I'm going out there tomorrow or what day I'm going to do it. 
uh, but I went over to the local bookmans. I got a few things there and some things from a hanging bag, shocker, that I'm gonna sell as well. So let me show you the hanging bag items that I got first. Uh, I've been selling a lot of these Disney Infinity figures. They've been selling really well for me. I price them in a good price range. I mean, like three to five dollars is where I price them. So we got Sully, we got Mr. Incredible. Those are both three. Here's one that's done really well for me. He sold every time I put him in there. So we got Jack Skellington. I put him, you see, four dollars and ninety-five cents is what I put him at. He should sell pretty quickly. Uh, in that same bag, we had this guy. I had to use Google Lens to find out what he was. I thought he was from Nightmare Before Christmas, and I was correct. His name is the Harlequin Demon. He was in that same bag. I put a $4 price tag on him. So that bag, again, it's not a ton of money, but you pay $3 for the bag, and you get 5 9 10 11 12 15 dollars back. It's a good return. You keep stuff in the booth. You put nice affordable items in there for people to keep buying. Maybe they buy other items while they're at it too. So that's a big plus. Now I talked about Bookmans. I said it and then I kind of switched to something else. So I used some of my trade credit that I got a week or two ago. Bought a couple Funko Pops and I like Deadpool ones. I put Deadpool ones in my booth and they fly out of there. Now both of these were special ones. So this one uh, first is 2016. I think it says like summer convention. It's like a gray version where he's doing the thumbs up. And this one here is a GameStop exclusive, kind of in a gray outfit there. I know there's a lot of glare and it's kind of hard to see here. We'll do this. We'll show you the side of the box. You can see the, see the pictures a little better. But because they're both ex exclusives, I think I paid or used $14 in trade credit. I'm going to put them both in my booth for 20 bucks. I looked at comps out on eBay. They sell anywhere between 15 and 25 So I will put them into my booth at 20 bucks a piece and should have a problem selling those. Now this guy here, maybe you saw him sitting back here. We got Count Chocula. Yeah, look up the Funko Pops. If you find all three of the different monsters, there's the Strawberry one and then the Frankenstein. There's Boo Berry and what's the Frankenstein guy? I can't remember his name. But if you get all three of them together in the original boxes, you got some good money. I think almost 100 bucks if you have the three of them. But loose like this, it's a $10 figure. I bought this for a dollar at one of the local thrift stores. So I like dollar to $10 flips, especially out at my booth. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy. This one, uh, trade credit as well. This was a loose pop figure of Rocket Raccoon. Really cool on this little, I don't know, it looks like there's fire blowing up back behind him. Rocket sells really good as well. This was $4. So at that Bookman's, all their loose pops are usually $4. I've seen a couple at 6 This one was 4 I'm going to price them at $10 in my booth. So that's pretty good. Use $4 in trade to get $10 uh, at in sales out at my booth. A couple last little things back here. Oh, yeah, this was also in the the hanging bag. This is just like, it's a Disney Infinity thing, but they have logos on here. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. So you got like Pirates of the Caribbean, The Incredibles, and Monsters, Inc. You got three logos on there. These sell, but very slowly. I think I put uh, $2.50 on that. Exciting, two fifty. And then another Deadpool. This will sell quick, but these aren't real high demand. These little domes. I think I put a $3.95 price tag on him. Looks like he's just getting out of the shower or something. Uh, is that it back here? Oh, yeah, we have Sorcerer Mickey back here hiding. He's another Disney Infinity figure. I think I put 4 bucks on him. Right, I think that's going to be it for today. This is my last video of the week, so I always like to wish you a happy weekend. Uh, Easter weekend coming up here, so however you celebrate Easter weekend, I hope you have a great one. Uh, my daughter's 13, and I think we're still going to be hiding some eggs for her on Sunday. So uh, that's it. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, thumbs up. See you next time.